hello dear students today in this video we are going to start a new topic of grammar and the name of the topic is adverbs this is chapter number 16 of your grammar book and here we will do a comparison or degrees of comparison of adverbs also along with adverbs in this chapter but before that we will discuss what is adverb and how many kinds of adverbs we are having okay so today let's start this topic adverbs very first i want to discuss the definition of this word adverb so an adverb is a word which modifies the meaning of a verb an adjective or another adverb which is given in your sentence clear once again please take care this modifies the meaning of a verb an adjective or another adverb so this is the meaning of adverb now uh, let's see let's understand this in this in detail that adverb adverb is something which adds meaning to adds meaning to what to verb as it is add plus verb okay so we when we will just remove this d so that what adverb clear so like this you have to remember this adverb so that is that is a uh, this is a very important uh, you know value point which we have to learn here while remembering the word adverb that something which is adding meaning to the verb now if i'm talking about adding meaning to the verbs so how it is let's understand this by example that for example i have written a sentence here she writes okay and the second sentence i am writing here he runs fast uh, he runs first and then here i will add one more uh, word for before that i have to un i have to tell here this she is what subject and this writes is what verb Clear? So the sentence is complete, which is a combination of subject and a verb. So she writes. But if I add something here, she writes neatly. Clear? She writes neatly. So this word which I have added here right now, this is changing the meaning of the verb. The verb is which one? Writes. She writes earlier, it was she writes. But here it is how she writes neatly. So this is adding the meaning, the different meaning to the verb writes. So that's why this word is known as adverb. In the second sentence, he runs. He runs fast. Okay. So he runs fast. He is subject, runs is verb. But if I am adding here, he runs fast. So how he runs? This is adding the meaning to the verb runs. So this fast is what? Working as an adverb here in the sentence. So like this we have to do. Okay. Now, uh, see, if I will write down sentence, he goes for a walk right he goes for a walk so what is this goes goes is what verb here but here it is not written where he goes when he goes how he go, goes there right so he goes for a walk so how he goes naturally by walking right he goes for a walk daily so when he goes daily right and where he goes he goes for a walk near the park or in the park so where he goes in the park so these are words like in the park daily and uh, uh, all these words these words which are adding the meaning to the verbs are known as adverbs clear so this is what we have to understand um, with the different kinds of adverbs today so this is our topic so if I will talk about the kinds of adjectives, so we have many kinds of adjectives. 
functional kinds also and another kinds also so today we will try to do the functional kinds of adverbs in this video uh, and uh, some of the different kinds of adverbs too so first of all let's talk about functional kinds of adverbs so if we'll talk about the functional kinds of uh, adverbs this is adverb of time which tells us that when the verb is going on right when it happens when the action happens and the second one is adverb of place or position that where it is happening if the verb is happening so where it is happening so that will tell us the place okay so the third one is adverb of manner right how it is happening so here this first thing we'll just uh, uh, see if you want to ask the question and you want to this is very easy way to get the adverb that you have to frame the question if you want to know if you are able to make the question if you are able to frame the question by using when here so this is what adverb of time okay and the answer is telling you the time of that action so that is what adverb of time if we are talking about the place so it is where it is happening where the action has taken place so this is what here you will do where and the third one if you are talking uh, here so that is adverb of manner so adverb of manner manner means how how the verb happen how the action happens so this is what here you have to frame the question with what how right and when where how and when we'll talk about the fourth kind of this adverb this is adverb of frequency frequency means what what is frequency what do you mean by frequency so how uh, this is see when where how and adverb of frequency and adverb of degree so up to this five these are the functional kinds okay so when we are talking about adverb of frequency or adverb of degree so these are two different very important kinds which you have to differentiate with frequency means how many times the action is happening how often kitni baar action ho raha right so this is what how often you have to just keep in your mind this this words how often clear so here you can ask the question with this and here when we are talking about adverb of degree that means what we have to see the actual amount here degree means kitna action hua hai so that is what how much how much so dear students if you want to get the adverbs in the sentence you have to keep all these words you have to frame the uh, questions by using these words and that will help you easily to get the kind of the adverbs in the given sentences so today we will discuss and these are the kinds relative adverbs interrogative and exclamatory so here you cannot frame uh, the question with such words i'll discuss this with uh, in the next part of the video but today we will do only two parts adverb of time and adverb of place or position and please keep in mind when we have to locate adverb of time so we have to frame question with the word when that when this is happening uh, this happened sorry adverb of place is what where where what was the place where the action has been taken place okay so these two kinds we will discuss today in this first part of adverbs so let's see here if we are talking about adverb of time i've told you here that tells us something about the uh, time what time the take uh, the action has been uh, is done so here if we will talk about the definition of this so adverb of time and adverb of time tells us at what time at what time an action is done kab hua right so for example first one is i have written here he baths daily he baths daily full stop second one is i shall go tomorrow i shall go tomorrow 
third one is she came here late fourth one is my elder brother will go there today evening clear so if we will locate very first the thing which is very important here that is what the verb okay so the very first task to target the adverb in the sentence we have to locate the verb in that okay then it will be easy to frame the question so here he baths daily he is what here subject baths is what that's verb now this daily is what he baths daily so this daily is what he baths when okay here we have to frame the question with when with word when w h e n so when he baths you have to frame the question when he bath when does he bath okay so that is uh, that is what answer of this question is he baths daily so this answer of this when does he bath is what daily so there this is what this is adverb of time so here it is very easy to locate like this i shall go tomorrow i is subject shall is helping verb go is main verb and tomorrow is what tomorrow is time so when uh, when shall i go and the answer of that question is tomorrow so what is the adverb here this tomorrow is adverb of time next one is she came here late she came here late when did she came here uh, when did she come here did plus verb first so when did she come here and the answer of that is she came here late so which is Uh, giving the different meaning which is uh, uh, you know modifying this meaning of um, the meaning of the verb so that is what late here so this late is what when okay so this is adverb of time next one is my elder brother will go there today evening my elder brother is what subject will is helping verb go is main verb there today evening so if i'll talk about here or if i'll remove this word there so there no, not be any confusion because we are doing this time so my elder brother will go today evening so when my brother will go when my elder brother will go so we are we are able to frame the question with, with this word so that's what today evening so this today is what here today is adverb of time that's quite simple only you need to uh, keep in your mind that what is the verb in the sentence and where it is um, you know changing the meaning where it is giving the meaning so uh, with if you want to locate this adverb of time you have to frame question with when w h e n next part today which we will do today uh, but very important before that these are the some of the adverbs of time which i have given which i have written here so you can note down that too which will help you to uh, remind that uh, these are adverbs of time so the first one is after a f t e r second one is ago a g o always a l w a y s before b e f o r e at present early immediately last month late now recently shortly soon still today tomorrow so these are some of the examples of adverb of time which you can locate with when okay next is adverb of place or position so what is meaning of place or position like if you are watching the video right now so where are you where you are sitting you may be in your drawing room you may be in your uh, you know living room somewhere so where that action is taking place right so this is what place this will tell you suppose you are sitting in your drawing room you are reading in your drawing room so where is that where is that drawing room is the place suppose you are upstairs 
right sitting in the terrace so where is the uh, where is that uh, adverb so that is what the place of adverb would be upstairs okay it may be downstairs it may be inside it may be outside anywhere which is telling which is telling us the exact location of the place where so here if we want to get the adverb we have to frame question with where w h e r e let's understand this with examples and uh, the definition of this is an adverb of place tells us where an action is done okay now for example go there go there so go there go is verb and there there is telling us the place so this there is what there is adverb of place second one is my sister is going out my sister is subject is helping verb going is main verb and where my sister is going that is out so this out is what that is telling us place the baby is playing inside the baby is subject is helping verb playing main verb and where the baby is playing inside so this word inside is telling us uh, the adverb of place okay now let's see some of the adverbs which are used to tell the place that is anywhere first is anywhere a n y w h e r e somewhere away backward forward below down for beside forward here in near indoor outdoor there up upstairs downstairs outside the place which is telling us adverb of uh, place okay where this uh, where this uh, action is done so this that's all about today just take the screenshot of both of the kinds and the definitions and the kinds too and note down in your notebook so that you can remember it for a future also thank you very much stay safe stay healthy take the screenshot